In today's video, I'm going to be taking over Espanol for 10 seasons. And we're doing this with unlimited money. The crazy thing is, this might actually happen in real life. Apparently, PSG's owner wants to buy a La Liga team, and they've chosen Espanol. It kind of makes sense, because Nasser El Khalifi, the owner of PSG, pretty much wants to do anything and everything possible to piss off Barcelona. Well, we're going to make this happen in this takeover, and our objective over these 10 seasons is to be more relevant than Barcelona. All right, for the first first season, we're looking at a pretty good squad. Espanyol have a very underrated team. Some really good players like Melendo, Melamed, Eduardo, Raul de Tomas. I really think first season, got to strengthen that back line. Boys, we've got unlimited money. Let's just sign some solid, solid options. I want to go big for the goalkeeper position, and I think David De Gea in Spain would be absolutely amazing. And remember, we can only sign two players every window. That rule is there. Spending one of those transfers on De Gea, I don't know if it's the right call, but having an 87 rated keeper for a few seasons, we'll take that. All right, let's chuck in 70 million for David De Gea, although we've got unlimited money. It's just going to be easy signing these players. 81.6 million, you can have that. Although we've got unlimited money, I don't want to just go out there and sign Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe and all. I want to keep the transfers a bit realistic. Like, look at this. Even with unlimited money, David De Gea didn't like our contract. This time, I don't want to mess things up, so we're going to manually negotiate De Gea's contract. He wants a crucial squad rule. I think we messed up with the wages. We need to give him uh, reasonable wages. I want to get him on a four-year deal as well, after which we can look for a new keeper. No release clause, please. We don't want you leaving. All right, so his demands aren't too bad, you know. We'll, we'll give him a bit more because I just feel like he deserves it. We have unlimited money anyways. Uh, Yeah, let's just do this. Uh, kind of stupid of me to give extra money, though. I don't know, but we're just doing it. It's happened. David De Gea has just signed for Espanyol. Well, the start of making this team more relevant than Barcelona begins now with a keeper like David De Gea in the team. Now we need a centre-back because that's where we're lacking. This might be the perfect video to sign one of my favourite centre-backs in FIFA ever. You guys know him. Mario Hermoso. He's a channel favourite. I think weakening Atletico Madrid and signing him would be nice. He's in his prime as well. And there you go. Mario Hermoso. That's a done deal. I decided to sign a few older players this winter because we've already got such a good uh, core young team. So I thought maybe a bit of experience could really help. Alright guys. That's our two signings done. Hermoso and David De Gea with unlimited money. The two transfer rule kind of makes it harder, but it is what it is. We're now going to sim until the end of the season. Let's see how Espanyol with this unlimited money takeover can actually do. We're at the end of the season, and I can't believe we've just finished fifth. That's the difference it makes, you know, signing a top-class keeper and a centre-back like Hermoso. We'll take that. Look at Barcelona. We're already closing the gap to them. We didn't win the cup, and of course, we weren't in any European competition. But that will change next season onwards. We're going to be in the Europa League. No trophies this season, but it was all about building. And I think that we've done well. Look at the ratings and everyone. Hermoso up to an 85. Look at Melamed and Puado. Melendo is well balling. I'm telling y'all, this Espanyol team has got some ballers. We fixed some of the defensive issues. I think we'll be sorted. And as you expected, Raul de Tomas was our top scorer for the first season with 21 goals. Yo, the man was our top assistant as well. Raul de Tomas is having a good time. I'm off the first season, top scorer and top assister. Even with unlimited money, sometimes you can endure problems like this. Javier Puado, who I thought was going to be one of our most important players, he submitted a transfer request. He wants out, so I guess for season two, we'll need to sign a new right winger. Apart from that, I'm thinking, again, another centre-back and we could be good to go. And for that right wing position, I'm thinking Anthony from Ajax. 84 rated. Now, that's the kind of signing we want to make, and his release clause is actually pretty reasonable. I might just pay that and get it out of the way. An offer's come from Manchester United for Puado. We gotta sell him. As I said, he wants to leave. Let's just get him out of here and of course replace him with someone like Anthony. Even Leicester City want him. Look at that demand. Leicester willing to pay more as well. There you go. Good news is Anthony has been signed. Having unlimited money does work. Like, honestly, I'm really hoping this deal goes through in real life and the PSG bosses can own. Espanyol, can you imagine Espanyol in a few years playing Barcelona? I think it'd be a fantastic derby and great for La Liga. Well, it's great for us here as well because we've just signed Anthony. And now, let's see who we can get for that centre-back position. I'm thinking again going for a younger player. I think I'm going to sign another Ajax boy. I surprisingly don't sign him often. Like, honestly, Julian Tempo would be great. I don't think I've signed him in any takeover yet, so this might be perfect. Timber's 80 rated. This should be easy. Obviously, when you've got unlimited money, you can go for the higher rated players, but what I've realised is signing young players with extremely high potential, it works out better long-term because 
they can exceed their potential and be like 93, 94 rated players, which, you know, the current high rated players can't get to. So that's my strategy behind signing Julian Timber and the likes of Anthony as well. And there you go. The two signings done. A couple of Ajax boys joining us for the season. All right, going to put him in here. And that looks really nice. I like that back line a lot. All right, so that's our signings done for this season. I'm thinking maybe a potential Europa League dub. That'd be nice. Yo, for the second season in a row, we finish outside the top four. I thought this would be the season we'd make a step forward. Guess it ain't easy. And I think we need to start up in the stakes and make bigger signings. Real Madrid end up winning the Spanish Cup. How did we do in the Europa League? So we did end up top in our group, which is great. Putting us straight into the round of 16, where we knocked out Inter. Now that's progress. But in the quarterfinals, Real Sostad gets the better of us. That sucks. We'll come back next season. Guys, I think I've realized why things went wrong towards the end of the season. A few players left the club. Melamed left the club and joined someone else. I don't even know who. Um, So did our striker, Raul de Tomas. Unbelievable betrayal. Where did they go? I think they had release clauses. That's the problem of doing a challenge in La Liga. Almost every player's got a ridiculous release clause. Where did Raul de Tomas go? Even with money, we can't hold our players, man. That's that's the crazy thing. Raul de Tomas joined RB Leipzig. And Melamed, where did this kid go? I, I, he could have been a player who would play for us until the end of this challenge. Instead, he joined Sevilla. Next season, we got to prepare better and, of course, make bigger signings because we can't have this going around. Although, Anthony, oh my god, what a season from him. Yo, 86 rated now. Scored 30 this season. That's brilliant. Also, you know, big ups to Vargas because he came in, played in that left wing position, scored 17 goals when we needed him the most. I didn't even know he was at our club. We have a new top scorer and top assistant just the second season. How mad is that? We legit got robbed last season, boys. So I'm, I'm not even thinking about making any basic signings. We're going to go crazy. I want Dusan Vlahovic up top for us. It's time to flex the PSG or the Qatar money now. Let's do it. Let's see what kind of deal we can get for Vlahovic. I'm going to try 140 million. We got the cash. We can pull it off. 200 million. Okay, let's get it done. And there you go. That should be enough to sign Vlahovic to Espanyol. Now we've got some firepower up top. Let's put him in there. And now the attack looks instantly a lot better. Now the question is, do we sign a new left winger or a right back? We've just got one more signing left. I think it's got to be a right back. One of the best right backs you could possibly sign on FIFA 22, Kurema and Frimpong. I want him. I don't even know what he's worth. I'm just going to chuck in 40 million as my first offer. Let's just get him no matter what. And that works. The perks of having unlimited money, I can just offer whatever I want. His demands are actually very reasonable, guys. We've just signed Frimpong and that's our right back position sorted. All right, let's put him into the starting 11. There you go. He's 81 rated as well. I like the team. We should at least win the Europa League this season. Also, my goal is to try and finish above Barcelona in La Liga. We don't finish above Barcelona, but we finish second in La Liga and we're going to the Champions League. At least that's progress. Oh, we were we were close to toppling the Barcelona regime, but it'll happen. Barca won the Spanish Cup as well. How did we do though in this competition? Not particularly well as I can't find us well. Round of 32, we got knocked out. We're making it a habit of topping the Europa League group, but going forwards, we knocked out Monaco, but then Lyon knocked us out. Oh, we're still yet to win our first trophy. Well, at least it doesn't look like anybody has left us this season, so that's an upgrade. Solid growth in some players like Anthony, Vlahovic, Timber. Actually, growth's been a bit sus this season. We expect a bit more. Regardless, what are we saying for stats this season? Vlahovic top scorer. I'm not even surprised. Anthony kind of slowed down a little bit. Melendo is still top assist. He's making it a habit now. I don't know how long Anthony can hold on to the top scorer award because Vlahovic is coming for him. Guys, if we were to topple the Barcelona regime and become their biggest rivals, I think we need to make a statement. And I think the biggest statement would be signing one of their own. What if we sign Ansu Fati? That would be a statement. He, he's already moved to Roma. Makes it even easier then. Let's sign him up. Alright, we are now going to be signing Ansu Fati to, of course, Espanyol, causing chaos in world football. They're going to call this poor kid the next Luis Figo and whatnot, but we're doing it. 130 million. Now, that's what I call a signing. Ansu Fati. We've got our Melamed replacement, and it's a statement, boys. It's a statement. We're going to come for Barcelona this season. You know, if we've signed one player from Barcelona to make a statement, what if we sign a player from Real Madrid as well? Eduardo Camavinga. Let's bring him here to Espanyol, and I think those transfers should be enough to get us winning trophies. Right. 
boys. We're, we're splashing the cash this season, which we do have a lot. Uh, thanks, Qatar and PSG's owners. For another 100 million, we should be able to sign Kamavinga. That's that. Kamavinga has been signed as well. What are we saying now about our team, boys? Squad depth is there as well. We're going to be putting Kamavinga into the starting 11. Now we're talking. That's our team sorted for the season. Yo, I've noticed Melendo has been injured for a while now. What's up with him? Torn hamstring. Should be back in like three weeks. Anyways, let's now swim on to the end of the season with this team. Maybe now we can win La Liga and get our first trophy. So at the end of season four, we're looking at finally being above Barcelona. But it doesn't really mean all that much because we only finished third in La Liga. We need to start winning the league more consistently. In fact, winning the league, period. We won the Super Cup, a chance to win a trophy, but we lost in the finals. Spanish Cup, Madrid ended up winning it. It was our first season though in the Champions League. Let's see how we did. We did end up top in the group stage. We get through Leverkusen just about. Quarterfinals, we get through Leipzig. We've made the semi-finals of the Champions League. That's way better than what we did in the Europa League, but we end up losing to PSG, but not bad for our first appearance in Europe. I think we've made a great comeback since Raul de Tomas and Melamed abandoned ship and joined other clubs. I think the team is looking nice. Vlahovic top scorer this season. Anthony still scoring a fair few. Look at Melendo. The comeback of dreams from him after that injury spell. Why did Ansu Fati just end up playing 16 games. Did he get like an ACL injury or something? That's the only thing that explains it. Anthony and Melendo still hold the top charts of this takeover, but more than all this, it's time we start winning some trophies. I think we're slowly creeping up to the point where spending more money on this team doesn't make sense, because that first team is great. It's all about getting a bit of squad depth now, and I realize we are lacking that in the centre-back position, so let's do something about that, and maybe even like a right back or a left back his back up there is is a bit tragic we could actually get an improvement in our current left back jose gaia would be a nice option but he's 86 rated and he's 30 maybe that's not a good option what about balde from barcelona now nah, i don't want to sign too many players from barca although alex balde would have been a nice option firstly i'm going to sign that backup center back and for me that's going to be goncalo inasio we've got the money just paying that release clause and getting it out of the way and there you go we've just signed inasio that was easy he's not going to be a starter for us now, but a solid option on the bench. I can't lie. Don't know much about Fran Garcia, but you know what? Let's just put in some money and get this done. Let's chuck in 30 million. That, that should be enough. Maybe they'll ask for more. It's fine. We got the money. We've got the oil money flowing. Let's get this done. And that's our new backup left back sorted. All right, let's put him on the bench. And now even the bench is looking very, very nice. I've got high expectations from this team. This has to be the season we start winning some silverware. Let's go, guys. We managed to win our first draw and the best thing is we've topped Barcelona to make this happen. Come on. Oh my God. 97 points as well this season. Trophy number one in the bag. It's taken us five seasons, but finally Nasser al khalifi has got a return on his investment. To be honest, apart from that, I don't think we've done all that when we even lost the Spanish Cup final. What about the Champions League? Now we reached the semi-finals last season. This season hasn't started well. Second in the group stage. But we got through Porto, but Liverpool Liverpool got the better of us. But you know what? Winning our first league title, that's amazing. Hopefully we can build on that. Yo, as I said, Vlahovic is closing in and he might even be top scorer by now. Anthony kind of slowing down. Ansu Fati played a little bit more games this season, but I don't get it. Like, why is he not playing more than Vargas, who's just seemingly playing every game? Bit weird. And we have a new top scorer. It's Vlahovic. All right, guys, for season six now, I've realized David De Gea is slowly dipping in his overall. I think it might be time to get in a replacement for him. To be honest, he is 35 now. I think it's time. Not gonna lie, someone like Unai Simon would honestly be perfect. I, I love that idea. He's 29, 85 rated, but I reckon with dynamic potential and everything, we should get him to a high rating soon enough. Let's just do a swap deal with David De Gea and chuck in about 20 million. Is that gonna be enough to get this done? 36. I feel like we're getting robbed here, but hey, we've got the money flowing in. It's fine. There you go. Unai Simon's been signed. We've got our new first choice goalkeeper. It's a bit of a downgrade on David De Gea, I'm not gonna lie, but, but I think long term, it, it might just work out well, because De Gea was only gonna get worse. For this season, just that one transfer thing is fine. We won the league last time around. Let's do it again and do better in the Champions League. Ah, looks like the battle continues between us and Barca. This time, they got the better of us as they win La Liga, but Super Cup, we didn't win that either. What about the Spanish Cup? Now we do end up winning, so a couple of trophies now. Six seasons 
only two trophies with unlimited money is kind of sad, but oh well. Champions League, we got knocked out by Chelsea. 4-3 on penalties as well. That was an L. I don't know what we need to do to start winning the Champions League more because this team, on the face of it, looks insane. I really don't know. Maybe it's Ansu Fati. He's not been that great, you know? Like, look at this. Yo, we're getting rid of Ansu Fati and getting like a superstar. He, he still loves Barcelona. That's proven now. But Vlahovic, insane season. Melendo, not bad. Still keeping up the assists. Now up to an 89 overall. It's still Vlahovic and Melendo dominating the stats. The only thing I want to do this season is get rid of Ansu Fati. He's been a bit of a fraud. He's, he's been like an agent for Barcelona. Let's get him out and bring in someone else. Would Luis Diaz be good for us or would he be too old? I'm not entirely sure. He's 30. I think he'd be a bit too old. Why not go a bit crazy then and sign someone like Jaden Sancho? He's a left winger as well. 27, 89 rated. I think we're going to sign him. We're not paying that release clause. We're going to put Ansu Fati in a swap deal for this and hope it works. All right, where's Ansu Fati? There he is. Uh, submit off a straight swap deal between the two. They don't want him. They want 150 million instead. Well, we'll try and sell San uh, Ansu Fati outside this deal then, but I want Sancho. Ansu Fati is on fraud watch and he's now being put in the transfer list. There you go, boys. Uh, the signing of Jaden Sancho is done. Hopefully now we'll see better results from our left winger as we get an offer from Juventus for, of course, Ansu. I'm just going to delegate this because I really don't want to be getting a swap deal for Ansu. Just give me the cash and let's get it out of the way. Well, they're willing to pay 150 million. We'll take the money. I mean, we've got unlimited money anyways. But yeah, Jaden Sancho and the team. I think the team's good now. I think we should be winning big trophies this season. We've only got two and we're six seasons in. We need to increase that number. Oh, come on. Barcelona best us again in La Liga by just a couple of points. What more do we need to do? We lost the Super Cup as well. No Spanish Cup for us. It's all about the Champions League now. We topped our group even with Man United in there. Round of 16, we get through Juventus. We get through Borussia Dortmund. We get through Roma. We're in the finals of the Champions League. Yo, this would be the dream if we can win the Champions League with Espanyol. That'd be a statement to Barcelona. Let's do this, but it's PSG we're up against. Are we good enough to beat them? Yes, we are. First Champions League of this challenge. 3-1 against PSG. That's trophy number three as well. Let's go. Lovic is in God mode right now. Nobody can stop him. And look at Melendo racking up the assists. I think these two are untouchable right now. We just won the Champions League. We're going to keep the squad as is. No signings. I think it's more than good enough to win it all over again. Let's see. We have the chance to win a bonus trophy. It's the UEFA Super Cup. Let's just get it done, please. 2-0. Job done. Trophy number four in the bag. Oh my god. Not again. Not again. Two points off Barcelona. We lose La Liga. That is such an L. We lost to them in the Super Cup as well. We just can't seem to get the better of them. And in the Champions League, we got knocked out by who? Who? Chelsea. On penalties. Are you kidding me? This was a tough season. Whenever I don't make signings is when we struggle. So next season, we're going to make improvements. But you look at it, this team. Where do I make improvements? I think we get a better player than Hermoso. That's all I can think of. Oh, Vlahovic got outscored by Vargas. He is the hidden find of this takeover. Where did he even pop up from? Vlahovic and Melendo still dominating the stats. And I don't think that's going to change. Guys, for season nine, it's time to get back at Barcelona. And I've got an idea. I don't know if this is the smart thing to do, but we're going to search Barcelona. There you go. I've managed to find them, and we're going to sign some of their best players. It's time to invade Barcelona and show them who's boss. We're, we're, we're taking no prisoners anymore. They've got Jusco Guardiol, who'd be a nice upgrade over Hermoso. They've got Lacroix as well. These guys have got an insane team. Mukoko, Pedri 92. No wonder they're balling out. Who's their goalkeeper? It's still Marc-Andre de Stegen. Guys, I think we're doing this. We're going to sign Guardiol from them and, and pay their release clause as well. Let's just show them who's boss. Okay, well, I think we didn't offer good money to, to Guardiol, so he's rejected us. That's not a good look. Let's try this again, shall we? But this time, I'm going to be a bit smarter. Let's negotiate with Barca, because why do we want to give them all this cash? They'll end up using it and just improving their team. Let's see, it was so easy. We've negotiated it down to 148 million. I, I should be smarter like this. There you go. We're signing up Josco Guardiol. Heavy contract, but it's worked. We've got a new center back in town. And let's put Hermoso in the reserves, I think. 
think. Yeah, because Guardiol in the team. Well, every player in the starting 11, apart from our keeper, is 90 plus rated. Let's get through this season. And signing a player from Barcelona's work, because look at how we put them down to fourth in La Liga as we win our fifth trophy. It's crazy how we've only won five trophies. And finally, we do win the Super Cup as well. Make that six. This might be our best season just yet. No Spanish Cup. We weren't even in the UEFA Super Cup. Champions League, though. We topped our group. We've made a habit of it. This time, we were even perfect. Then, we got through Benfica. We got through Juventus. We got through Arsenal. Final against Leipzig. Can we win our seventh trophy with our team? Our team is more than good enough to get it done. And it does. Kamavinga and Anthony with the goals. We've just won our seventh trophy. Look at some of the ratings. Anthony and Vlahovic, 96 rated. Talking about Vlahovic, back at the top for him. Melendo again with a good chunk of assists. There's no chance anyone is toppling these stats. For the final season, I thought, let's just keep the squad same. We just won the Champions League. We should be winning everything again. But boy, was I wrong. We ended up finishing third in La Liga. That was an L. We lost the Super Cup too. Spanish Cup at least. Yay, we managed to win that at least. Come on. Trophy number eight. Champions League pass in the final. It hurts. It hurts. We got knocked out in the round of 16. UEFA Super Cup. Pretty sure we were not that. We managed to win that. So trophy number nine. So we end off 10 seasons with this Espanyol team and unlimited money and a total of eight trophies. That kind of expected a bit more. But again, the two transfers a season rule kind of makes it hard. Vlahovic, what a way to wrap things up. 44 goals. Final stats of this takeover. And I got to say, I appreciate Melendo. Somehow he's made it on these charts. And that's that, boys, for this Espanyol takeover. I don't know if this is going to happen in real life, if the PSG bosses do end up buying them. But I hope it happens because it'll make La Liga even more fun. More rivalries for Barca. Because right now, Espanyol are pretty awful. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, drop like, subscribe. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.